Thank you for tuning in for the review of the best products available today. These models were chosen from a large variety of products based on their overall performance and review of thousands of consumers that have purchased them through countless hours of research, side-by-side -side comparisons. It's believed that the following products are indeed the best on the market today. Please take a moment to follow the product links listed below to each product for more information. Sit back and relax while you watch the best highly recommended products for this year. Welcome to the Deeper Pro and Chirp Series Quick Guide. We will show you how to start using your sonar as well as some basics that you should know. To get started, scan the QR code on the sonar box or visit the application store on your device and search for Fish Deeper. To use the app, you will firstly need to create an account and log in. We recommend doing this at home where you have a stable internet connection. Also, download the offline map of your region. It will allow you to see the world map even if there is no internet in your fishing location. Before using your sonar, make sure to charge it. Once the LED light turns green, your sonar is fully charged and you can screw the top cover back on. Here's how. Put the top cover on, aligning the waterproof marks. Screw counterclockwise until it dips, then screw clockwise until the waterproof marks match perfectly. This is very important because water can damage your sonar beyond repair. To connect your sonar, place it in water. Then go to your phone settings and open your Wi-Fi networks. Find the deeper Wi-Fi network and connect to it. Once connected, open Fish Deeper. We recommend testing the connection at home using a glass of water or something similar. When casting the sonar from the shore, make sure you use a sufficiently strong rod. We recommend using one with the minimal cast weight of 80 grams or 3 ounces. For fishing line, we recommend using a 7 kilogram or 16 pound test braid or stronger. Use a strong knot. Before casting, make sure your line is not tangled at the tip and will pass through cleanly without the bail closing. Inspect your line from time to time to make sure it is not frayed. When casting, be very careful not to land the sonar on hard surfaces such as the ground, trees or rocks. Deeper sonars are capable of maintaining a connection at very long distances, but there are a few things to keep in mind if you wish to achieve the maximum range. First, let's set up your smartphone or tablet. For Apple devices, make sure to disable the Wi-Fi Assist feature. For Android devices, disable the Switch to Mobile Data feature. Depending on the device, it may not have this feature or it may be named differently. We recommend turning off mobile data, aka cellular data, when using your sonar. When casting your sonar, do not place your phone on the ground or in your pocket. The Wi-Fi signal from the sonar is received best when the phone is at chest level. Make sure to use the correct attachment bolt position. When casting from the same level as the water, use the bottom one. When casting from higher ground, use the middle one. The right bolt ensures the sonar is pulled at the right angle and remains as stable as possible. If the sonar starts tilting excessively, this will not only affect the connection range, but it will also make your sonar readings harder to understand. Finally, when retrieving your sonar, make sure to reel it in slowly. If your sonar submerges, it will disconnect, as Wi-Fi does not travel underwater. To ensure a strong and accurate GPS signal, place your deeper in the nearby water. Turn on the onshore GPS mode and give it some time to establish the strong GPS signal. The connection may take between 5 to 10 minutes or longer if you've not used your sonar for a long time. Once the app shows GPS found, you can start casting. GPS is sensitive to weather conditions and obstacles. If you experience loss of GPS signal, it may be due to heavy clouds or rain. Overhead obstacles like trees or power lines will also affect the signal, so try to avoid them if possible. When your sonar is stored away for long periods, make sure to fully charge it every six months. 
A discharged battery degrades over time and loses its capacity. If your sonar's water contacts look dirty or discolored, use a rough sponge to clean them. This will prevent the sonar from not being able to detect water.